Hi everyone, my name is Natalia Fernandez. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to clean out your fridge. This is something I've been procrastinating on and it's finally time. It's my fridge is packed full of meal prep containers. I haven't grocery shopped in about two weeks, but the meal prep containers take quite a bit of space in there. So I wanna clear it out, get rid of expired um, foods, and I wanna cut back on food wasting and all of that. So I wanna make sure what I have in there so I can check what I do need for grocery shopping. And I hope this video motivates you to get up and organize with me, clear out your fridge too. Um, it feels good afterwards. It takes quite a bit of work, but it feels good afterwards. And um, I did pick up some containers at Home Goods. You can also find them on Amazon. I'll link them down below if you're interested. And at the end of today's video, I put in a bonus recipe. It's a healthier version of a pancake. It's a post-workout meal if you add protein powder, or it could be a breakfast. So it's up to you. My husband loves this recipe. He eats it all the time. And I hope you find it helpful. Thank you so much for coming today. I hope you subscribe and let's jump into the video. So this is the first step I like to do. Take everything out and put it on your countertops so that you can have an empty fridge so you can clean every little surface. I know most of you know how to clean out your fridge and how to look for things that are expired or not, but my main goal for this video is to motivate you guys so you can put this video on, put some music on, and clean with me. My purpose and my goal for every video on my channel is that I can teach you guys something new. I can inspire you guys, I can motivate you to stay on top of your house chores, and that we can do it together, we can motivate each other. Okay guys, so this is how my fridge is looking currently. I emptied everything out from the main part and the drawer. I'm not emptying out the sides or else I'm going to be really overwhelmed. So I'll do the sides after I clean out everything and I'll see what's expired and get rid of that. Uh, as you can see, I'm a, I'm a sauce person. <laughs> and this is the current state of my kitchen. <laughs> oh, the food that was in my fridge. There's more here. Here. And here. I know, it can freak some people out. This mess, but it will be worth it in the end. Now we can start cleaning the side doors and getting rid of anything that's expired. Things back in. And make sure you put some music to get you going. <laughs> I always do that when I'm cleaning or organizing. Put my jams on and it gets me going. Okay, so now the fridge is completely clean. I wiped all the surfaces down. The drawers are clean. 
So now the fridge is ready to go. I have these plastic containers, the ones I mentioned I got at Home Goods. You can also find them on Amazon. And we can start loading it up in the fridge. This takes a little bit of um, messing around with. You put something, doesn't look good, you move it. And that's how organizing is. So it's just putting something somewhere, moving it around at the end. I usually move stuff around like four times before I'm finally happy with the spot it is. So I'll show you guys how I do that. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. So again, there's still a lot of stuff, but at least everything's clean and organized now. So I got the, the containers here, I got the eggs here. It's easy just to pull out like that. So here I have basil pesto and cream cheeses. Here I have yogurt, peanut butters. These are good for like snacks with apples and things like that. So this drawer, I have some pita breads and then just like meats, vegetarian burger, things like that, processed meats. And then here you have the containers I showed you. I got these on Amazon. If you guys want, I can link these down below too. This is tapioca flour that we use for breakfast. These are pre-cooked turkey bacon, so they're easy to just grab, put in omelets, things like that. Here you have a side for turkey and a side for cheese. We're all out of cheese, so it's easy to tell I need to pick that up. A lot of the mozzarella cheese um, that put in the sandwiches, all other cheeses I got tons of, as you guys saw. Um, the boiled eggs I made on the meal prep video. Here I have just some things that are quick to go for work. Again, I work full time out of, away from home. And here I have just salads and things I buy ready to go for when I don't have time to prep. 
And then back here you saw the salad containers. I got these on Amazon as well. I can link those down below. Let me put this. And then here I have all sorts of things, dips, cheese, everything. So um, I tried to organize these in order of things that I use the most. Um, the chicken stock I made on my last videos back there, I only use that once a week. And then what I'm having for breakfast tomorrow, so I left the red in front. Yogurt, I left that in front, so things you use the mo most. And here I have my cheese drawer. Again, we're cheese lovers here. I have the shredded cheese in the back. The cheese is for snacks, ready to go down right in front. Those are quick snacks with cheese and crackers. And then um, other cheeses back here. Like I said, I have a lot of cheese, so I won't be buying that anytime soon. Back there I have some breads. Those are like breads for toast or bagels. I don't use that much, so I leave it in the fridge. It lasts longer that way. So I like to keep those there. Here are the meal prep I made. I picked this up for the first time, um, mashed potato. Um, it's, it's already pre-made. I haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you guys know. I picked that up for a quick night dinner where I can just make chicken and then eat with mashed potatoes if um, we're on a rush. So here I have ground chicken and chicken breasts. I left that up here. Here I have quinoa that I meal prepped with brown rice in my last video and the shredded chicken. And now let me take this out so you guys can see back there. Here I put a bin where I have just boba pearls so I can make boba tea and stuff. Uh, here I have cheese. Again, more cheese, I know. And here I have juice, milk. I need to buy almond milk. I'm out of that. Just finish it up on my last video and then egg whites, ketchup, cream, and then some sparkling water. And here I have all my my dips and sauces. So yeah guys, that's how that looks. Again, not so organized because it's crowded but it's clean and I know where everything is and as I'm recording Nelly always living her best dog life right Bubba okay so now to my drawer here I keep vegetables um, I don't keep fruits here I have a fruit basket or chopped fruits I told you I keep up there but here you have my vegetables, carrots, and like all sorts of forms, shredded, whole, the small carrots, I like to snack on those. Here I have the lettuce in that same container that I got the turkey bacon. And then tomatoes, here I have the lettuce. Here's the lettuce for sandwich, lettuce I use for salad, and these this lettuce I use for wrap. I know, I'm picky. <laughs> And then here I have tomato, onion, um, and lemon holders, so I put that there. And then we, like I said, the lettuce for wraps, we like to make a lot of wraps. And then we have non breads, I like to make pizza on those non breads when I'm craving pizza. I put that in the toaster oven, I spread a little pizza sauce on it, and add a little shredded cheese, and put whatever toppings I want on it, and it's a little healthier version of pizza. And then back there I have some homemade um, garlic seasoning with cilantro and things like that. Some mushrooms. And here in this little container I leave things that are pre-chopped and whatever it is I need to use first. And that's it. That's the drawer. Okay guys, so here's the bonus recipe I'm going to try to do at the end of most videos so that I put in a little recipe quick recipe for the most part in every video um that's my goal we'll see what happens i will leave the exact recipe for this healthier version of a pancake down below if you guys are interested this takes about five minutes once you start doing it my husband usually has it for breakfast um every day or as a post-workout meal is also a good option and I just wanted to let you guys know that if you are building muscle like my husband is he likes to add a scoop of protein 
and just if you're low on protein intake um, you can add your protein powder here whether it's plant protein whatever it is um, if you want to add extra protein do it so right when you blend it So that's it guys for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the organization process. I hope I can be motivating and supportive to you guys the way you have been to me. I was hesitant to post this video. I've recorded a couple before that I never posted and everyone has been so supportive in my Instagram telling me that they enjoyed my content, they loved my video and, keep, and kept motivating me to go on. So I'm very thankful for you guys. I feel very blessed. I'm gonna keep coming out with good content and I hope in 2020 I can motivate and support you guys like you have done for me and that we can clean out your house little by little, organize closets, pantries, everything. So thank you so much again. I am very grateful for each and every one of you. And I hope you tried this recipe out that I taught you guys at the end of today's video. Give me some feedback. Let me know down below what you want to see for future videos. Please subscribe, share this channel with your friends, like the video, give it a thumbs up, and hit the bell notification down below so that you can be notified of future videos. Thank you so much for watching.